Engineers are still working on designs to make a busy street in Pensacola safer. In June of last year, a woman and baby were killed while trying to cross Cervani Street. And just a few weeks ago, just two blocks away, a man was killed while crossing the street. News 5's Cody Long is live tonight with details on the improvements that have already been made and what's coming next year. Cody? Yeah, Peter, Gulf Power has already added new, brighter LED lighting you can see behind me. And then just a few weeks ago, they added this sign right here that shows the drivers their speed compared to the 35 mile per hour limit. And this is just the beginning of the changes we'll see over the next couple of years. Evelyn Weber is tired of hearing the news of someone killed trying to cross West Cervantes Street. It's tragic that we have to hear of such foolishness. Last summer, a woman and a baby were killed at M and Cervantes. Just a few weeks ago, a man died a couple of blocks away. And Weber's friend was hit recently by a car in this same area. As soon as he stepped out, which was his right to go, she wasn't paying attention. She turned and hit him. And police came, everybody came, but he got up and said, that's okay, let it go. But today, you know, he's still having headaches from that. Today was the second of two meetings for FDOT to show the proposed safety improvements and to receive public comments. We'll look at that and see if there's any sort of design changes we can make. We'll hold a public hearing coming up this fall. It's more of a formal presentation where folks can come out. We're going to uh, get their comments, get their input, uh, and then we'll go from there and finish our design. The improvements include five new crosswalks, raised medians, reducing the width of the lanes, and these pedestrian barriers that will go in the middle of the road. Weber thinks the speeding drivers need to be more observant. And you got these few that wondering why we're going 35, so they'll weave right, right through us like we're going too slow. And I wish that there was enforcement there at that time to catch them and say, oh, okay, you feel like you want to pass them? Pull over. And this $7.5 million project includes Cervantes here from A Street all the way down to Pace Street. They expect construction to start sometime next year. Live in Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.